Welcome to Ferrotone Studios. I've just bought an ESP LTD TE200, which is effectively a Telecaster, and I'm going to tell you about it. I've been looking at getting another Tele for a while. I uh, wanted one with humbuckers. I've got two already with single coils. I wanted one with a rosewood fretboard or a dark wood like this. And I saw this and thought, that looks okay. Completely forgot I'd ordered it. And I saw an email reminding me they said they had some tracking information, you know, it was going to be with me soon. And I, I remembered I'd bought it and I thought, oh, really don't care about that guitar anymore. So my plan was to do this review and then sell it. Uh, got it out of the box, you know, it looks nice, but most guitars do. And then I played it. This thing is fantastic. Honestly, it's absolutely brilliant. And there's a few little tweaks on the Telecaster side of things that I love about this guitar. One of the first things I noticed about this guitar, a uh, bit of a downside in my opinion, but whatever, we'll get through the negatives first. The black scratch plate, single ply. I like three ply scratch plates, so I thought, well, I'll change it for a black, white, black one. I thought just to see if it is the same as a Telecaster scratch plate, I've got a Telecaster scratch plate, put that over the top of it and thought, oh yeah, it's got 24 frets, of course that won't fit, which also means that neck pickup's further back. And then I thought, well, what else is different? So I've got this Telecaster bridge uh, for a humbucker, put that over the existing humbucker, and the saddles are in a different place. So you could fit one of these, but you'd have to take some chunks out of the body. None of this is really a negative apart from the fact you can't just buy a Telecaster scratch plate and put it on top. I did get one of my Telecasters, let me grab it, and they are exactly the same shape. I mean, it's just it's like they've drawn around it. So effectively, it is a Telecaster. There are some differences, however. There's a few things I really like. Uh, I wanted uh, what I call a gut cut, the stomach carve. Just think it's a nice touch and the arm contour. I've got some slab like Telecasters, it just makes it a bit different. Through body strings, always fantastic. That comes on a lot of Telecasters, even Squire ones. It has a slanted bit where the neck plate goes. That makes it easier to reach some of the higher frets. That's a really nice touch. Another nice touch, the headstock is angled back. That means that you don't need string tees. That means that nothing buzzes where it shouldn't because sometimes one isn't enough and you have to put a second one on. Don't really like the look of them to be honest. What an amazing touch. I was also looking at the binding around it and I, my first assumption was it's probably spray on binding like you get on Epiphones. I don't know if that's still the case, but it used to be the case. But then I looked closer and you can see just under the end of the neck that where they've routed the neck after the fretboard's gone on, you can see that the binding actually goes through so it's real binding. What an amazing touch. I mean, this is a 400 pound guitar. It's a mahogany body. Nice touch, so it is quite heavy, but I'm used to a Les Paul anyway. And I don't think it's a uh, rosewood neck, it's some other dark wood. Who cares, you're not gonna hear the difference in tone. It looks like rosewood, it looks the nuts. Apparently it's a three piece maple neck. Not that I can see a single join. You can just about make out the joins in the body, but they do different color ones of these that are solid colors, and you wouldn't see it. Who cares, it's just a nice bit of wood. It's got a 25 and a half inch scale length, like like all Telecasters, but the one difference with the fretboard is it's got a 14 inch radius. Now I am a Les Paul player, so I'm used to a 12 inch radius, and I'm not a big fan of the nine and a half inch radius. I don't like the seven and a half inch radius on old fenders, but 12 inch is nice for me, and 14, ah, oh, this thing feels so nice to play. What a great setup. Not a single sharp fret. It doesn't really buzz, and the actions, action so low. I'm going to show you how it sounds on clean because I've seen a couple of other videos on this which I watched after buying it and everyone's playing it with distortion which is great it's gonna sound great with distortion but on clean at least you can hear how it actually sounds and then you can put whatever pedal you want with it and we'll go from there so I'm just gonna play some clean sounds on what is effectively a metal guitar just looks so nice Right, neck pickup first. We're going through a Blackstar HD20 on clean. It's going through a cab I built. There's a video on that if you want to check that out. It's quite cool. Um, it's on a Celestian Greenback, so should sound nice.
middle position. Switch next. pleasure to play this thing. It just feels so nice. The fact it's got a flatter fretboard than a Telecaster would have if it were a Fender just feels really nice. And I think, I don't know if this is true, but my I think they may have brought this out to contend with the Jim Root Squire. So it's quite a metal squire. It's got humbuckets. It's a bit different. It's again made of mahogany. That has a 12 inch radius neck, just like a Les Paul. And I've played the um, Jim Root Squire and it is really nice. It's about the same price. So my drummer's actually got that guitar, so I will do a comparison of that if this lockdown ever ends. And uh, also the bassist has got a Mexican Fender. with hum They've all got humbuckers, so we'll do a comparison of all three. Similar prices, I know the Mexican Fender's a bit more expensive, but it gives you an idea, so look out for that video in the future. But this, it, oh, it's just so nice to play. The pickups are a bit pokey, they're quite hot, and I quite like the fact that this neck pickup's a bit further back. I don't know why, it just the sound of it, it sounds really good. It, everything feels nice, none of it feels cheap. I haven't taken the electrics apart yet and had a look, which is unusual for me. Um, I don't know what type of pots they've used, they don't feel cheap. Um, I mean, who wears pots out anyway, it rarely happens, but I am one for moving the volume knob all over the place, so if anyone's going to wear it out, it will be me. Things I would change on this, uh, I'd, ideally I'd like a three-ply scratch plate, but seeing as a Telecaster one won't fit I don't know if I'd be able to source one but I don't care enough I will put chrome pickup covers on them because I just think they look nicer apart from that nothing I love the fact it's got a sloped headstock so you don't have to bother with string tees just an amazing touch I like the bridge saddles I like these style of saddles instead of those twirly bits of metal that look terrible just feels nice it's got a really good weight to it as a Les Paul player I mean <sighs> that's just amazing and considering this morning before it arrived I was thinking oh I'll do a video and then sell it I'm not selling this absolutely no chance it's fantastic great guitar get one I've been playing this LTD Telecaster the T200 for about a week and a half now still absolutely love it I have noticed that the pickups are quite hot the front pickup is about 11k and the rear is about 14k it is heavy i have weighed it it's about 4.3 kilograms which is about 9.8 loops 9.8 pounds which is really heavy for a telecaster um my les pulls 8.4 pounds so it's heavier than my les paul but my les paul in fact both my les pulls weigh that much so both my les pulls are quite light and it's weird to have a Telecaster that weighs more than that. Still, it's not ridiculously heavy. Sounds phenomenal though. Uh, sounds great on clean. And obviously sounds fantastic when it's overdriven because it's what it's designed for. I just love the touches over a normal telly, like the angled headstock, so there's no string. I love an angled headstock anyway. The binding makes it look the nuts. And these are about 400 quid new, so second hand. I don't know how much you could pick one up for, probably half that. Definitely get one of these. If you're thinking about getting a telly with humbuckers, go one of these, it's fantastic. I will do a comparison to this in the Jim Root Squire if we ever get out of lockdown. Uh, as one of my band members has that and um, a Mexican Fender Squire do a comparison to that so expect that video in the future leave some comments let me know if you've got an ESP LTD let me know if you've got one of these if you want one leave some comments let me know what you think 
And thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and hit the bell button. Then you get notifications. So I've got some brilliant videos about to come out. Thanks for watching. Thank you.